All right, so let's say you made an error. Like this was supposed to be two inches. And it is, oh, I can double click on it and then I can, oh, it's right here, I can change it. Oh, uh, that's not gonna work. See how it's underlined? It's not actually two inches. That's why it gives us that underline and lets us know that we put in something that's not true. So we can't, we can't just edit it right here inside of the drawing. So uh, let's take a look at our assembly. It's also, you know, things aren't the way they were and the way they're supposed to be. So let's take a look at our part. We gotta go down to our part down here. And this is where we need to make our changes. So I can hover over in my browser and find out which one was the one that caused the error. And I believe, let's take a look. It was off of this sketch right here. So this extrude right here. Oh, it was supposed to be one and it's 0.5. So I'm gonna change it, one here. And we're good to go. We got it updated, cool. All right, so we, our object is correct now. Why don't we switch over to our drawing and it's still wrong. That's a bummer, real big bummer. But there's a button right here that says update from this workspace. So I'm gonna update it and oh, there we go. So we cannot make edits to the object directly in the drawing workspace. We need to go back over and edit our model and then we can automatically update right there in the top right or left. There we go. Good job. That's how you fix errors.